Almost every person who lives in Ghana has suffered an episode of malaria one way or the other. Over the last 30 years, scientists, including those in Ghana, have worked very hard to develop a vaccine that will reduce malaria disease and deaths in our children. It is now my singular honor and privilege to declare the malaria vaccine implementation program duly launched. This has been long awaited. An additional intervention that can help to solve this problem, I think is just uh, most welcome in public health. And we are today uh, living uh, this historical moment with uh, here in Ghana, uh, the preparation for the launch of this uh, new vaccine against malaria. We need more tools, more interventions to help us. And this vaccine offers a big potential to be able to augment what we are able to achieve with the other interventions. I've seen firsthand what malaria does. As a child, I've had episodes of malaria several times, and its impact, even it had on me and my friends, I've lived it. So I know the benefits firsthand of what a vaccine could do. Now, so may ha high, may titty, a drum and drum menda. May send so a namidy, towel, gum, namidy, a pepano, mosa. And say, yes, I'll cramp on the cigar. Me did me Janina say, Miss Mass, my drum, and met me a year, a drum I was sending a bass army to me, yes, you mean, call I am more fit for me, ya quiet, and maybe I name my mumpona or more. Malaria costs a lot to families, lost of job loss of man hours and if the child has malaria he has to be going to hospital in and out and this is something that nobody has quantified <laughs> this means a lot Anything which will reduce mal malaria fatality is very dear to the heart of every mother and every father. This is a, a very special moment and a historical moment for malaria, for vaccines, for public health. And I really congratulate the Ghana Ministry of Health at taking this bold step forward for malaria.